sense of danger, a sense of emin uh, emanating, uh, like something's eminent, um, by use of patterns. Like the eyes on that on that kitty drawing. I mean, one of the things I like about Jim Woodring's work is that he uses a lot of eyes in his backgrounds. And you won't know that they're eyes, but they register as eyes because there's, you know, that style, that motif of like, you know, the white sp or the round space with something in the middle of it. And it adds a sense of paranoia or, um, not paranoia, but like a sense of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uneasiness in the viewer, in his work, in Jim Woodring's work. Um, and so I like stuff like that, and I'll, I'll do that sometimes. It'll be something in the background that I'll repeat, or... It's not a huge part of my work, but it's definitely an element of what I do. Well, I was going to paint the background, but I think we're out of time. So what I'm going to do is really quickly add a little shading to this glove, and then we'll call it a day. Call it good. Again, our light source is, I don't even think I even talked about the light source, but it's coming from over here, shining this way, so all the shadows should be on the left-hand side of the, of the figure. Oh, wow, five minutes. I can do the background after all. Basically, I laid down a bunch of color, as you saw, and then I'm using wa a watery, not really watery, but a, a damp brush to pull that pigment out and create the shading that you see there. So let's do the background. Um, I think I'm going to go with something a little green. I don't have any green in here. I'll go with this bright green I've got over here. Maybe add some of this blue to it. This also lends itself well to mixing, you know, having a palette like this that's so water resistant, just from homemade stuff that you save. Of course, then you look funny carrying around all this weird junk that you should have thrown away, but. And with the background, I'm just going to be sloppy and watery. And what will happen is the water will make the pigment kind of pull up in different areas. And you'll get some nice variations and textures in the watercolor that way. See, I'm going to add some pigment here. And that's, that pigment's going to separate out to the edges of the water all kinds of patterns and I'm doing this down and dirty quick and dirty style down and dirty quick and dirty I think with him I'm going to separate him out a little bit from the background closer to the figure Got a little green on that blue So anywhere close to him, I'll just use pure water and just pull that pigment in and using the white of the paper, create kind of a halo effect around him. And that way he separates out a little bit from all that green I'm putting down. It's a very serious green we've got here. means business. Wouldn't want to paint your house that color. Maybe you would. What do you use for uh, humorous green? For what? Humorous green. Humorous green? I guess this is it. This is a pretty humorous green. I thought that was the serious green. No, the serious green is like a, the dark green I've got in his eyes, see? Something a little more uh, subdued and a little dark. What? I was just checking on Mark. 
It's a serious green. This is serious only in its, it's very bright. Not the kind of color I would have picked for a background color, but we're, in a, we're on a time crunch here, trying to finish this up. So there's a sense of completeness to this show. I don't want to end halfway through this painting. Lucky for me, watercolor is very easy to apply on really nice paper. See, I didn't put that halo around him there like I should have. But I can go in, pick it up, and then lay it back down. So I use a lot of water. Usually my, um, you know, my paper towel is like a mess by the time I'm done, so you can see right there. Okay, almost done, folks. Almost done. We're in the home stretch now. Okay. Got some blue in there. Okay. Okay. That's the end of my watercoloring demo. That's it. Oh, we missed this uh, corner. Thanks. So, if people want to see more of your stuff. Yeah, if you want to see more of my stuff, go to Magic. M A G I C I N K W E L L, magic inkwell dot com. I've been putting comics up there since 1998. So there's a lot to look at. And that's my water and color, water coloring demo for you today. Let's zoom in on that a little. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for having me.